Welcome back, Panthers. I'm Landon. Move! <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. And I'm Adrian. And we're on The, the Prowl. Prowl. Athletes, you must get cleared for athletic clearance in order to participate in the summer sports programs. Attend the Crooms Physical Night on May 16th from 5.30 to 7. Physicals cost $25 and all proceeds benefit the Crooms Athletic Departments. Students, come out this Saturday at 6 p.m. to watch the Matilda musical. Hey, my sister watched that musical on Netflix. Huh. The Crooms Drama Club will put on a spectacular show based on the hit book. Buy your tickets today. I did not know it was a book. Neither did I. Calling all photographers, writers, designers, and creators. Join our yearbook staff and help create lasting memories. You can scan the QR code on one of our flyers around campus or contact Mr. Walker for more information on how you can sign up. Yearbook distribution is May 10th. Don't be left out. Only 10 yearbooks remain. See Ms. Babb today to purchase yours today. The cost is $80. And now for our special reports. I wouldn't recommend that. How long have you been following us? Eh, like the past five or so minutes. Okay, why, why wouldn't you recommend that? Well, I overheard a big shot mobster talking about how he sent some of his goons into the office. I know Miss Evangeline kept a lot of her patient files there, so I don't know what they'd want with those, but can't be anything good. Maybe they're trying to relocate him to somewhere else to keep her, their bosses identity. It might be the case, but... Where do you think they would relocate? I think that they... Hmm. They might relocate to Miss Evangeline's house. Yeah. Pretty off-the-radar spot for some patient files, if you ask me. It all makes sense. You gotta check there. It's the only place. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's the only place, yeah. You should, uh, check there. All right. Thank you so much for the information. No problem. Keep yourself safe, Detective. You too. I guess we gotta. We gotta. We gotta go. Yep. All right. This is the place. Two hundred four Nunez Avenue. Figured it out, huh? You're Don Mortiturn. In the flesh. I'm honestly surprised it took you this long. But, uh, I always knew you were always ahead of yourself. Now, you see, Tord, I like to think I run an illegitimate business. I can admit that. However, I think of it as an investment. An investment for the others to be happy. It all started back around 1919, after the Great War. 
many veterans were either disabled or had PTSD and other such credencies. But who came in to save them? Me. By offering my services in drug laundering. And thus, I made everyone happier for a great price. And I was doing so fine and well until Miss Evangeline comes along and discovers a missing check from her book. Now, Miss Evangeline was an accountant for one of the businesses that I run, but she didn't know about it. However, I knew if she did find out, that would cause the end of my business and therefore the economy. So, I had her killed. I had her stabbed to death. I hired one of my people to go in and kill her at her house. But, then someone like you comes along and comes digging your nose in a case so far in that you couldn't bear yourself out. You always cared about doing the right thing. And thus, we're here. I thought that if I could be your buddy, be your coworker, be your friend, that you wouldn't catch on to this business. But you keep digging your nose in where you shouldn't. And that's your main problem. You see, with your meddling, you affect our very way of life. And I can't affect our way of life. So that's why toward everything that we've been through together, it all ends here. Right here. Right now. You've got a grain in your soul. I can see it. Your sense of what is right is wrong is twisted. Shattered. Well, the way I see it, I view myself as right and everyone else wrong. And my way of thinking is good. Whereas everyone else is bad. They don't get to see the bigger picture of the money. Cash flowing in. But I know that this doesn't end until I defeat you. This is the end toy. For you. No. For us. Get you both. Y'all be dead within a week, a month. I don't care how long, but you will be dead. I'll tell you that much. Don't you know who I am? Yeah, I know who you are. New prisoner in the New York State Penitentiary. I, I run the state. I run the police. I run everything here. Not anymore. Your crimes will be published to the papers. You'll be exposed for everything you've done. Get this guy out of here. I can't even stand and look at his face. You can't get away with this, Toy. You'll never win this. You'll never win! Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Hi. You might know me as uh, Detective Tord Elini. See, this 
guy right here, he ran a criminal drug empire for the last 15 years. You know what drugs can do to your life? It can mess you up real bad. Alright? I don't want you to see him doing that. If you do it, you'll get massive distancing from your family, lead to a life of crime, addiction, so many other things. If I see you doing this, we will find you. And we will catch you. Thanks guys, that was real informative. Well that's it for today, Panthers. See you next time on The Prowl. Later. Cheers.